Now mind today I'll be showing you how to build most efficient fully automated fusion reactor. So here's the recipe for the fusion reactor itself. Some uh, you're gonna also need some electromagnets, electric turbines, chemical extractor, just one should be enough. At least I believe three tesseracts, timer, accumulator for water, some red alloy wire. So here I have uh, your basic uh, EMI network set up um, and we're gonna put some empty cells inside the network. This is the autom uh, automation part of the reactor. So we're gonna need some empty cells. Now that we have those we're gonna make a hole in the ground. Uh, we're gonna fill it up with water. Uh, accumulator in the middle and on top of that accumulator we're gonna put the extractor. Now on one side you're gonna put the ME export precision export bus and on the other you're gonna put uh, ME precision import bus. Now on the export bus you're gonna set the uh, empty cell in the filter. So it'll be uh, taking out the empty cells out of your ME network and sending them into the extractor. Also you need to power the chemical extractor so we're gonna put the power on top like this. Now we can connect the export bus with the ME network, also same thing with the import bus. Now after that you're gonna place down a another export bus, you're gonna set its filter to the deuterium cell which is gonna be created any second now. This chemical extractor is creating deuterium cells using uh, only water, electricity and empty cells and yeah then it creates these deuterium cells which are used to power the fusion reactor. So you're gonna set that in the filter, you're gonna set the redstone mode to activate once, activates once, per, once per pulse. Also you're gonna place down a block uh, with the, uh, one block space in between the expert bus and place down a torch right next to it. Then put some alloy like this, lever here and pop, turn it on and then place down timer so that way when the lever is powered on the timer is stopped when you flip the lever off the timer will start and you need to set the timer on 95 seconds so that every 95 seconds ME network will send one deuterium cell into a tesseract which is going to be connected with the reactor. So your test rect, you right click on it. Here I already made a frequency for it. I called it the deuterium cell. You, s uh, you set it on that frequency. Also item mode, set it on send only and others you can turn off. Also we're gonna need a separate power source for the fusion reactor because the fusion reactor itself needs electricity in order to work. So we're gonna place down another test rect just for the power here from the this creative energy cells uh, energy cell normally you're gonna use your own uh, battery storage here I'm using this unlimited uh, uh, energy cell from the creative mode so you right click on it you can use the same frequency the only difference is that this time you're gonna set the energy mode on send only and the rest you can turn off so now that part is done. Timer is set on 95. Here is the deuterium cell in the filter. It's set on the activates once per activates activate once per pulse. Test racks are set. Now the only thing we need to do is build the fusion reactor itself. And here's how you do that. You don't have to be using these uh, burnt quartz blocks. You can use any that you like. So just follow what I do here around the okay my bad I place on a ch chemical extractor you need to place down the fusion reactor <laughs> in the middle when you mouse over it, it'll say no deuterium or, or depending on how much deuterium it has inside right now it has zero and then you place down more magnets like this so we're basically making like a hollow tube 
where the plasma will be created and that plasma will heat up the water on top of the reactor well on top of the magnets and then those magnets will be spinning up the turbines which will then create electricity and now you're gonna have to make a wall here as well so the water doesn't spill out The bottom part of the reactor, reactor can be decorated to your liking, like this part. For example, I do that all around so it looks a bit more pretty. Uh, also, now you're gonna have it look like this. You need to place uh, blocks in the corners because this is where no heat will be generated and it's pointless to put turbines in the, co in the corners. The rest you fill up with water, like this. Okay, now you're gonna take your electric turbines and you're gonna place nine of them here. And once you did that, you're gonna take your wrench and right click on the middle one. And that way they will all turn into this one big turbine, which is more efficient and, well, yeah, it produces more electricity than nine small ones. And you're gonna put small ones here above this water. And once you did that, you're going to take the conduit and place it on top. Like this. And connect it with the middle one. And now you can have that power sent into your battery storage or, for example, laser drill machines or whatever you use. Now there's only one more thing left to do and that is you have to make a hole underneath the reactor. That's where we're gonna go place down a, another test rect for our okay yeah that's that is I believe yeah that's the fusion reactor. Now we place down another test rect, you right click on it, set it on the same frequency and set it so it receives only the items receive only and the energy on receive only you can uh, lock the fluids you don't need any liquids okay and that should be pretty much it now the only thing that's left to do is uh, let's place down some batteries so that we can see how much electricity it's generating um. and then we flip the lever and the timer okay and that is connected and now you flip the lever okay right now it's set to 95 seconds so that'll take some time uh, so I'll just set it on like five seconds or ten so we can see it work and we don't have to wait a minute for it to start up as you can see the deuterium cell was sent into the fusion reactor and then it started up the process of creating plasma and now we can see electricity being generated in our energy cells out of just one deuterium cell you get uh, around 140 million redstone flux so that's a pretty good way of creating electricity and it's pretty cheap because uh, one the deuterium cell is only it costs you only some water empty cell and tiny bit of electricity uh, the reason why we have timer on 95 is because the fusion reactor itself has the maximum capacity of 9999 liters of deuterium liquid and with one deuterium cell, reactor receives 200 liters of the, that deuterium liquid. So the thing is, if you wouldn't have uh, the timer for your expert bus, it would just keep wasting your deuterium cells. Because one deuterium cell is 200 liters of deuterium. And as soon as reactor would use just one liter, the next deuterium cell would get used up. So 
you would be wasting your deuterium cells every few seconds and this way you only send one deuterium cell every 95 seconds which is enough for the reactor to work all that time and there's still some leftover liquid which is like uh, four to eight liters but nothing too big so so yeah that's how you get the most efficient fusion reactor thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe goodbye yeah.